बुबला सो यू हैव आस्ट मी इज इट ओके टू बी सक्सेसफुल एब्सोल्युटली इट इज एब्सोल्युटली ओके टू बी सक्सेसफुल बट मेक श्योर that doesn't go and settle into your head if you really ask me i say to you that it is better not to be successful because nature represents anonymity it has no place for success name fame ego i have seen people taking their dog to competitions and they train their dog very well and dog does everything it runs it jumps it follows certain rules and ultimately it wins but dog doesn't carry this idea that i became successful today i have received this award it doesn't recognize it it just recognizes the biscuit and the milk and a bone even the success of the dog goes into the head of the owner that is the problem it is absolutely not necessary to be successful it is against nature one of the famous poets of 18th century rudyard kipling probably 19th century in his magnum opus poem if he writes two beautiful lines that you may walk with the kings but never lose the common touch people want to walk with kings and by and by they forget their real nature by looking at famous film stars people go crazy దానికి ఏమిటి కారణం అంటే ఆ స్టార్స్కి వీళ్ళకు మధ్యన ఉన్న డిస్టెన్స్ మాత్రమే రోజు ఒక మెగాస్టార్ చిరంజీవి లాంటి వాడిని చూస్తున్న తన కుటుంబ సభ్యులకి ఎలాంటి క్రేజీనెస్ ఉండదు దే నెవర్ గో క్రేజీ అబౌట్ హిమ్ బికాస్ దే హ్యావ్ పర్సీవ్డ్ హిమ్ ఇన్ ఇట్స్ టోటాలిటీ his places his minus his weaknesses his strengths his abilities his inabilities they have seen everything when you see everything it becomes normal and neutral so sucking life partially is to be successful if you really suck the life in its totality then you realize that you are nobody you are anonymous everyone wants to live like a nobody in the deepest sleep you are nobody while taking bath you are nobody while eating and chewing you are nobody while sneezing you are nobody you don't sneeze like a mega star you don't take bath like a mega star there is no such thing exist 
it has to be understood in its totality otherwise you slowly slowly go astray so you asked me bubulla is it okay to be successful yes it is okay to be successful but make sure the success which you acquire will not in, in, encapsulate you make sure that you are not smothered wrapped completely in the blanket of success so that you have no space for breathing that is ugly success is not truth it is myth and what is the parameter to success tell me a film star son becomes film star in the same regional language he is unsuccessful person he has to try in the bollywood or in the hollywood and hollywood star should act in a regional film and become successful so it has no parameter you cannot define it it is only an idea so once i meditated upon this particular phenomena called success and i try to understand closely what exactly it is not from the books people have many people have said many things and uh, i don't give a damn then when i when i started paying attention closely to this word and people who have associated themselves with the word and people keep this word on their heads who has lost the common touch i have observed them closely then i have realized that that is an ugly business it is just being recognized by others you are craving for the recognition there is a person an artist a singer a painter an actress a scientist the number decides who is successful and who is famous and if the same mega star goes to zimbabwe or uganda or yugoslavia no one recognizes him there he is not successful the reason i am taking him as an example so that it will be conveyed effectively I, otherwise i have no curiosity in these stars according to me they are just doing their job and they are getting paid that's all and when you experience success for the first time you feel it but you keep on experiencing it by and by you lose the sensitivity and you you become numb that's why all the people come out and they meet people and see there is tremendous gap between the people and them they stand on the huge stages and give glorious speeches and they say they're flying kisses and i love you all false stupidity at its peak i have many a times asked these so called fans that uh, why your father is not your role model why you don't crazy by looking at your father and mother because no superstar or power star or mega star is feeding you your parents are taking care of you 
have you ever done the pala bishekam to your parents portraits have you ever touched their feet with gratitude you don't do that i have also meditated upon this this particular phenomenon why people become fan and why people start admiring somebody like crazy you just ask this question no one has really no clue about it i know the answer i'll tell you bubala chaala mandi film stars ni heroines ni ledha gurul ni amithanga aaradhinche abhimaninche ee janalu enduku vaalla parents ni aaradhincharu abhimaninchar they don't really because every son or daughter they take their parents for granted i have stumbled upon a strange psychological phenomena i'll share with you people but think about it eppudaina mee nanna kallallu kallu petti 2 hours nu chusava have you ever seen or gazed deeply at your friend or your mother your sister for at least 2 3 hours we never do that maximum we we look at somebody into their eyes not more than 40 seconds you just go home and just look at your father within few seconds he will be petrified and he will say what happened to you why are you looking at me like that because that is unusual because when you look at something deeply for more than 1 hour slowly 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 your brain and mind it becomes hypnotized so we all look at the film star i don't look at any film star so people look at film stars or any you know, the famous gurus they keep on looking at them that's why they go crazy there is no other reason behind it you just look at anybody for more than 2 hours you become fan of that person because your mind will lose the logic and reasoning it creates a tremendous impression in their brain and mind and the same image will appear in your mind recurrently that's why all lovers they look into each other's eyes and they go crazy they all do the stupid things so bubala it's okay to be successful though i say to you it is indefinable i don't really recognize the success when you are not successful you have all the time for you when you go out no one recognizes you you sit wherever you want you sing the song you like you spread your hands to the sky and you dance in the rain there is nobody to recognize you in past couple of years many people have thought because of my work i became quite successful but i have never showed off my success because i i don't recognize it 
that is the whole point so because my mind is not corrupt i live an ordinary simple life the real success to me is no one on planet earth should not pay attention to my actions i can sing i can dance i can walk naked on the on the road i can sleep wherever i want i can eat whatever i want if that catches the attention of the people if they start considering that a successful act i don't recognize it the best way which i have been doing is contradicting myself again and again and throwing their minds onto the ground trying to be neutralized all the time the moment they have they get any crazy idea about me i immediately neutralize the idea then they look at me normally i like that sight so there is no success it is a myth if at all other people attribute success to you don't take it for, it for granted it is their ignorance that they are thinking that you are successful if you think that you are successful then you too ignorant you suffer because it is a big hierarchy of thousand steps it's a huge ladder you may stand somewhere in the middle forever you stuck in the limbo neither you can't go up nor you can't climb down that is misery every successful people person is absolutely miserable within they can't be relaxed they punish their body and mind just to appeal others so bubala it is up to you if you want to become successful be successful but make sure that you don't take that into your head you may wear a costume worth 1 lakh rupees make sure that you are a naked person within you may eat in a gold plate but make sure that your whole attention is on the food but not on the plate you may be recognized by thousands of people but make sure that you are just a nobody to be nobody is to be in the realm of bliss ad continuum raso vaisa risa